everyone. I am Katie Henry with NDSU Extension in Cavalier County, and today I thought it would be fun to show you how to make our beverage mixes in a jar. They are so simple, easy, and they end up looking very nice and cute, and it's a fun gift to share with someone. Um, the front side of our publication has the number, and the number is FN1625 beverage mixes in a jar. And it just has some information as to why it's a good idea to do this, how to do it, those basic things. On the back side, we've got four delicious recipes and little cards that you can cut out to attach to the jar once you have assembled the mix. The four recipes are double chocolate peppermint candy hot cocoa mix, French vanilla coffee mix, spiced tea mix, and mint candy coffee mix. All of them are delicious. Today, we are going to do the double chocolate peppermint candy hot cocoa mix just because chocolate is my favorite. And so I thought this would be an awesome gift for me to receive. So maybe it would be a good gift for me to give to others as well. But all of them are delicious. I just prefer chocolate. The ingredients are one cup instant skim milk powder, one cup unsweetened cocoa powder, one cup white sugar, a half a teaspoon salt, a half a cup crushed peppermint candy, and a half a cup of mini semi-sweet chocolate chips. And remember when it comes to the powders, like the milk powder, cocoa powder, you wanna make sure that you spoon the ingredients in to the one cup measuring cup, and then you level it off to make sure you have an accurate measurement. Um, the powders might compact if you just stick the whole measuring cup in there and you don't want to have too much of one ingredient and not enough of another. And so you wanna make sure that you spoon it in and level it off. The first ingredient that we're going to add it to our food processor. This is um, something that will help us make sure that the mix gets mixed as well as it can. The first ingredient is the skim milk powder. So it's one cup of skim milk powder. We just add that to our food processor. The next ingredient is one cup of the unsweetened cocoa powder. So we just add that as well into our food processor. The next ingredient is one cup of white sugar. This is granulated sugar, not the powdered sugar, but granulated sugar, so we add that. So far we have three ingredients. The fourth ingredient that we want to add is one, or excuse me, half a teaspoon of salt. And we keep our crushed peppermint candy and our chocolate chips for later. First, we need to mix this really well in our food processor. So we put the cover on, make sure it's locked on, and then we just pulse a few times to try to get it all incorporated, incorporated together. pretty well incorporated. And keep in mind, it's a powder. So a lot of times a little powder will puff out. You probably will have to make sure that you get the powder off of everything when you're done because it does tend to get all over the place. You take off your, um, your container off of your food processor. And then you get a bowl. And I like to use this one that has the spout on it because we are going to have to put it into jars. So I just add all of these ingredients that we pulsed together into a fine mix here. And then the recipe says to add the crushed peppermint candy. So it's a half a cup of crushed peppermint candy. And I just took one of those giant thick candy canes, the really thick ones, um, and just crushed it. I just broke it apart and um, used my, my mallet, my kitchen mallet, to break it into smaller pieces. And then we add our half a cup of mini semi-sweet chocolate chips. And remember, um, when we're doing this, food safety is up of utmost importance. So we want to make sure that we wash our hands and everything. I did that prior to starting, but we want to make sure that we, um, especially since we're giving it as gifts or that it's going to sit in a jar, we want to make sure that food safety is important. 
and um, on the forefront. So we want to make sure everything's clean, dry, ready to go. Once you have the ingredients into the bowl, then you just take a spoon and you mix it together to try to get all those chocolate chips and the candy pieces, the candy cane pieces or crushed candy pieces all incorporated into the powder. And then it says store in an airtight quart sized container and decorate the container as desired. So what I decided to do, you can use a quart sized jar and I do have a quart sized jar, but this is several servings all in one container. And I have two people that I would like to give it to um, who I don't think would use more than this size. So I'm gonna split it between um, two pint size jars rather than one quart size jar. And that works just, just fine as well. I've done that before. One thing that I do wanna point out is that I do have a spout on this, which makes it much easier for me, but I also have a regular, um, regular mouth jar. And so I like to use my funnel because then it helps me get it into the jar a little bit better. So I just put the funnel on and then I pour half of the ingredients. It should be able to be split evenly um, between the two jars. You can hear the candy pieces going into the jar. Oops, a little, even with the funnel. Okay, according to the measurements on my jar, this is about half. Oh, a little bit wasn't quite even in there. Okay, so that's about half. I take the funnel off and I'll set that aside and put that in the other jar later, since I'm not using a quart size jar. Um, once I have all of the ingredients into this jar, then what I, what I like to do is put the tag on the outside. And this tag says double chocolate peppermint candy hot cocoa mix. Directions for each serving, place one third cup cocoa mix in a mug and stir in one cup boiling water. So it says specifically what to do in order to get your hot cocoa mix. The only other thing or suggestion I would have is to maybe include the ingredients of what you put in the jar in the first place, just because people do have food allergies or food sensitivities, or they are just curious about what is exactly in this mix. And so, um, especially with things like milk and chocolate, you want to make sure that you include that you have had that as one of the ingredients in the mix. And so you can punch a hole in these, or I just like to put some tape on it and just tape it to the outside of the jar. So it's all ready to go with the directions and they stay on there. And then what I like to do is put the lid on and make sure that it's secure and tight. And then I just cut a square of fabric and I put that on top and I secure this with a jar rim and it just goes right over the fabric. It doesn't matter that you have fabric on there. You just wanna make sure that you get it so that it um, goes on there evenly. But already it's starting to look fun and festive. You can also add a ribbon. And so I have pre-cut and pre-tied a ribbon that will fit over this jar lid as well. So I just slip that on to add a little something extra. And then sometimes what I do even beyond that is I go and pull a few um, sprigs of greens from trees that I have in my yard, or sometimes I, I will purchase um, artificial flowers or artificial stems at a store, and I'll just include that as a little bit extra decoration. Now, if you're gonna use these as stocking stuffers or that kind of thing, um, or if someone's not going to open them for a while, you wouldn't want to use fresh greens because um, they'll get dry and brittle and then they'll just fall apart. But if you are going to hand deliver this shortly in a few minutes, then that might be something that you would like to add just as a little something extra that's a little festive. So I hope you enjoyed seeing how easy it is. Literally, it just took minutes to make our or put together our beverage mixes in a jar and they are delicious and they are fun. And I hope you find as much enjoyment giving and drinking as well. Thank you. Mm -hmm.